We'll have oral argument before the U.S. Supreme Court this week. Ted Cruz has introduced two new bills in Congress to stop marriage, but they may backfire on him. And the National Organization for Marriage has lost yet another court case. For the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum, and welcome to Marriage News Watch for April 27, 2015. This is it. The U.S. Supreme Court hears oral argument in the marriage cases on Tuesday of this week. The argument itself will go by pretty quick. On one side are the couples, arguing that the U.S. Constitution's guarantee of due process and equal protection should apply to gay and lesbian people, too. On the other side are some states, which have a hodgepodge of not-too-convincing arguments that they should be allowed to decide what the Constitution does and doesn't guarantee. After argument is done, the U.S. Supreme Court will post audio recordings on the website so we can go through and dissect all the ridiculous claims from the states, which should be fun. And then there'll be a ruling sometime later, probably in late June. It's impossible to say exactly how the court will rule, but you might want to prepare your wedding invitations now, just in case. And although it may be a few weeks before the Supreme Court rules on these cases, they did issue a little mini-marriage slapdown to NAM last week. The justices told the National Organization for Marriage no, conclusively, for the last time, they may not intervene in Oregon. The Oregon case was settled in May of last year, but ever since then, NAM has continually tried, and failed, to stop the marriages. Despite an unbroken string of setbacks, NAM may continue to explore ways to stop marriages in Oregon, according to a spokesman for NAM, or at least for what's left of NAM. Nowadays, there are fewer politicians than ever who oppose the freedom to marry, but among the holdouts is Ted Cruz, who just introduced two anti-marriage bills in Congress that have exactly zero chance of passing. One is a constitutional amendment that would void gay couples' marriage licenses when they cross state lines, and the other would prevent federal courts from ruling on marriage. Cruz can go ahead and introduce these bills. They probably won't even make it through committee, and they'll definitely never become law. They only exist to pander to an anti-gay base. And the problem for Cruz, and politicians like Cruz, is that the anti-gay base isn't what it once was. A new survey out this week confirms the trend that we've been seeing for the last 10 years. Support continues to increase, and opposition continues to drop. The more a politician does to oppose the freedom to marry, the more they alienate themselves from the mainstream. Before long, politicians who introduce bills like these will be standing completely alone. And then they'll be gone. Those are the headlines. Subscribe here on YouTube to stay up to date on all these marriage cases. For the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.